Now, the Biden administration today announced its plans to expand Title IX sexual assault rules and ensure protection for LGBTQ students and victims. This comes as the nation celebrates 50 years of gender equality in women's sports and education. And as KITV4's Aaron Coogan reports, the long legacy of Hawaii's own Patsy Takemoro Mink. A woman who forever revolutionized the equality of women in education and sports. She is little known for what she did, and without her, many of us wouldn't be here today. Patsy Mink was a very influential woman and has not been recognized for her hard work because of her race, ethnicity, and marriage. She was a diehard Democrat and served in the House of Representatives for most of her life. She has done a lot of things for a woman in education and sports. She has also done a lot for lower-income groups. Patsy Mink was born in Paya as a Japanese-American in Hawaii on December 6, 1927. She was one of two girls of a civil engineer and later immigrated to the U.S. Patsy Mink went to the University of Nebraska but was later deported due to racial discrimination from her classmates. But, fortunately, this wasn't the end for Patsy. She moved back to Hawaii and attended the University of Hawaii. She graduated with a degree in zoology and chemistry in hopes of becoming a doctor. Unfortunately, all the medical colleges she applied to rejected her. But the University of Law School, the University of Chicago Law School asked for her to attend their college. With low enthusiasm, Patsy accepted the invitation and discovered her wonderful talents in law. She also secretly hoped to be involved in politics one day. One day on campus, she met a man named George Francis Mink. She later married him. She then graduated and became a lawyer. When she was looking for jobs, no one would accept her because of her interracial marriage. Mink was enraged by this and decided to start her own group called the Oahu Democrats. After a couple of years, Hawaii became a state, and Mink immediately started campaigning for the Senate. But she got in the House of Representatives instead. And she also fought for low-income residents, gender equality in schools, and racial equality. Many people started to notice Patsy's successful career. And eventually, she was even offered to run for president under the party of the Oregon Democrats. Patsy gladly accepted, but she unfortunately didn't become president. But she still continued on in the House of Representatives. Then, later, Patsy Mink was diagnosed with pneumonia, and then she died of some complications. Now, let's take a break. Hidden Legends has been brought to you by... Interesting Facts! Did you know that Patsy Mink was the first Asian American woman to run for president? Well, I sure didn't. This next one will also surprise you. Did you know that Patsy Mink was the first colored woman in Congress three years before Shirley Chisholm? Well, I sure didn't know that one as well. Did you know? that Patsy Mink had one child named Gwendolyn, who would later become an author and an advocate for equal rights of women. Well, now let's zoom back to the podcast. Patsy Mink was very influential, but one of the greatest things she has ever accomplished is the passing of Title IX. Title IX is a law that promotes equal treatment in educational institutes. Without it, girls wouldn't have been able to play sports in in school. Well, next time you feel like you weren't given enough credit for what you have done, look on the bright side. Show the world what you can do, and sometime or the other, people will recognize you.